Hey folks, Jim here with Leela for this year's final two episodes of the year. And we're going to start off with the top ten worst books of the year. Now, generally we love a lot of books during the year, but these are the top ten books that we just loathe. Um, so let's get to it. I'll let you start. Okay, first we're going to start with the various X-Men crossovers represented here by X-Men Manifest Destiny. Um, no matter what it was this year, Divide We Stand, Manifest Destiny, or Original Sin, nothing really happened in the X-Men world. Does anything world. really ever happen in the X-Men universe? Well, there has been significant things, but I'm just saying, everybody's focused on Secret Invasion, and the X-Men have sort of been pushed off to the side, and nothing really interesting has been happening. It's been a slow year for X-Men readers, so hopefully this picks up in the new year. Hopefully. Next up, Angel, After the Fall. Now, as a Joss Whedon fan, I'm horribly disappointed in this series. It's just sucking ass so bad. I mean, yeah. the story's getting better as it goes along, but the art is just utterly abysmal. Um, I can't stand the art, and it, as you've mentioned before, in a visual medium like comics, it's just not a good thing. It's pretty hard to ignore. Yep. Next up, we've got Project Superpowers. Now, beautiful art done by Alex Ross, uh, but the story just hasn't been that interesting. Uh, it just hasn't really gone anywhere cool for me, and I was hoping for so much more from an Alex Ross project, so overall it just was a big disappointment for me. Next up, Bonsai Girls by Jinky Coronado. Um, now, I love Jinky. She's a great person. Met her a few times, but unfortunately the book just isn't that great. I mean, art's great, Story, horrible. But, uh, I mean, you can't go wrong with it. It's not horrible, horrible, but it's just bad. <laughs> Next up, we've got another Joss Project, sorry. Uh, but Serenity Better Days just was not the best effort into comics this year. Uh, the first issue, if you look back at our review, it seemed to skip all over the place, and like there was parts of the yep, script just not there. no plot substance. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and the art wasn't that great either. Like, the realism of the characters on the cover is not the same on the inside. So, overall, we just had to give it two thumbs down to Serenity Better Days. Sorry, Joss. Next up, Beyond Wonderland. Now, as you remember last year, the first Wonderland story from Xenoscope was in my top ten worst. And again, the sequel is in my top ten worst. Now, the art, as always, is gorgeous, but the story just blows. Next up, we've got Incredible Hercules. Um, who really cares about Incredible Hercules? This should be Incredible Hulk! When is it going to be Incredible Hulk again? Because reading Incredible Hercules is not really that interesting. Really? Who yeah. cares about Hercules? I mean, it was good for a few issues, and I was like, okay, eventually we'll get back to Hulk. Not but since Kevin Sorbo has anyone cared about Hercules. Not really. So, I mean, you know, the whole Red Hulk series has been pretty good, but when is Incredible Hulk coming back? Please, Marvel, listen to me. Next up, Transformers, Sega of the AllSpark. Um, now, I'm a big, gigantic Transformers fan. I love Transformers. I hated this series. I hated it with a passion. This is one of the worst examples of Transformers art I have ever seen. Stories were really good by Simon Furman. Art was utterly abysmal. Bad book. Next up, we've got Amazing Spider-Man. This has been an interesting year for Spidey. Um, we've basically reset him all over again after the events of Civil War, um, and we've had three issues uh, a month for a really long time now, and I think sort of the quality of the book has suffered. The only sort of decent storyline was The New Ways to Die, and then other than that, Spider-Man's been pretty bad this year. Let's go back to a good monthly comic and hopefully get Spider-Man back to where he was. monthly Spider-Man book? Yeah, That's impossible. I know, I know but... That's what I wish for this year from Santa. And the worst book of the year, in both of our opinions, unfortunately, Blue Water Productions, Back to Mysterious Island. But we love Blue Water. We love, love you guys. You did a lot of great work, but unfortunately, this is just utterly horrible. Mm -hmm. um, the art on the front cover is great. The story is not bad. But when you open the book to see, oh, I don't know, this? In a professional book? Uh, I can't believe people are hired for this kind of stuff. Uh, I just, it's just bad. I don't know what it is, but it's probably the worst book of the year. We apologize, Blue Water, but this book blows.